Bloom is a total incompetent. Helen Vendler is sort of uh, a, a competent incompetent in, in a sense. And then you have someone like a Camille Paglia. Camille Paglia, for example, is, is actually a pretty good social critic. I agree with many of her uh, theses on uh, you know, male-female relationships, about the hypocrisies. Um, you know, I, I, I read something, someone, I don't know if it was you or someone else, forwarded me something, an email, uh, regarding that Emma Sulkowitz thing, uh, the, 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 the phony rape girl. Um, and I, I think Camille Polly had, had written something, if not directly, but tangential to her and also on Bill Cosby. And she was spot on. And I'm sure a lot of these men's rights advocates are big Polly fans. But Polly, had no, again, knows nothing about the arts. She's someone who is totally wedded to her own likes and dislikes. And, yeah. and you know, she will, I, I've read five or 6,000 word essays uh, in the Atlantic or or New Yorker, or those types of magazines, where she'll defend the most egregious types of uh, bad art uh, for for no particular reason other than she simply likes them. And so, you know, you have, the, it gives you a, a kind of spectrum of what's wrong with arts criticism when you talk about the total incompetent white male, dead white male, uh, Harold Bloom, to the sort of you know, uh, wannabe Helen Vendler types to the hit and miss Paglia types. 